I think the general public looks at immigration and thinks it's very simple. Why aren't we just arresting people? Why aren't we deporting them? People are looking for simple answers to why they don't feel secure. I think politicians give them answers, looking for people to blame. My name is John Sandwig. I'm the former acting director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. I do find that my viewpoints on immigration enforcement probably moved to the left a bit after I got the ICE. I became more understanding of that some of the positions we had taken before are probably the wrong position, simply because they didn't make sense. I spent a lot of time drafting what the priorities would be for deportation. You're drafting a policy, you're saying, this is the people that we're gonna focus on, and you say, we're gonna, you have two misdemeanor convictions, no matter what they are, you're, you're, gonna, you know, you're gonna be a priority. And then three years later, you're looking at it, and you've deported 36,000 people who are driving without a license. And you're like, okay, we really shouldn't have included driving without a license. Let's carve those little lower level offenses out. It's not just a humanitarian issue or a moral issue. There are certain categories of people who really didn't pose a threat and we should not waste our resources on. And ultimately, you're undermining ICE's ability to do its job. Now, I, the problem is, I think the Trump administration, and I, unfortunately, I do think some of the folks at ICE never could get their head around that concept. I think they're doing a great disservice to people in this country when politicians like Trump tell people, we're gonna have everyone deported. It is not possible. There is no other law enforcement system or organizations that are as impacted by politics as is ICE. There are certain places where if you're an elected official, it is 100% in your best interest to be anti any sort of immigration reform. But you have people who are the biggest hawks, and they could be U.S. senators. And then all of a sudden, ICE has caught somebody who is close to them. It could be somebody close to their, their, their reverend at their church. It could be the nanny for an old friend. And you'll get these hawks calling us and saying, hey, well, no, deport them all, but not that guy. That guy's not a criminal. And that would happen all the time. When you're working in government service at the policy level, you don't realize that that policy memo is going to drive whether somebody gets deported or not in hundreds of thousands of cases. You're disassociated from the impact you're having on human lives. <laughs>